Josh! Go on, brother. Oh, he was like, "Fuck!" You know, I got shit in his bridges, though, right? And maybe we should just keep her like that and keep her in the party. <laughs> What's up my round table of hitters, Matrix Native here, and in today's video, I'm going to go ahead and go over my strategy. You don't have to put this in any order, this is just my strategy for it, however, these are the very best companions at the moment. Who I think the Smiths are very overlooked. This is the first companion I got obviously looked and if you haven't checked it out go ahead and check out my strategy for the Ranger Blacksmith and you can make some serious do re me and just stuff all your freaking pockets and be wearing the ice and bling with that strategy right. So again Rothard he was only a 60 when I got him right. I got him from Batania. Another thing that, point of fact, the names can change, however, the trade, i.e. the Smith, that will stay the same. Who well, Again, so you might have them from a different culture, or he might be named something different than Rothford or Remel there, alright? Track it. Okay, so... Again, this isn't really in any specific order. It just depends on what kind of strategy you're playing. Again, though, my second pick overall for companions were the medics. Now, obviously, Hakha, the scholar, has the 121, right, if you're looking at the bottom right. However, I went with Laura the healer, and she's worked out fine. I think I've been in the campaign, like, I don't know, six months or something. Anyway, she's working out fine, and she's not bad in an 81, plus she's Britannian, so that's always a plus. So, you can look for them, again, remembering that their surname might be different, then the first, but the first name might change, but the surname will always remain the same. Song remains the same. Google it. Next up, now, here's the thing. I did go with these guys at first. I went with the melee. However, uh, you know, after thinking it out and assessing my options, I went ahead and picked the knights, i.e. a uh, horseman, over. Which you will see me dismiss my melee fighters and bring in the cabs. So, no worries, we got you covered there. Again, here's their name, Swordsman, She Wolf, Blood Axe, and Cole Better. And basically, these will all be the names at the end right their surnames but their first name might change so next this would be my actual after i get my medic you know squared up and then you know the smith to make oodles and noodles of freaking the blooms so my next would definitely be instead of like melee i would go with more of a cab a horseman that's really good with uh bows and one arm swords but you want a horseman definitely right so you can go with lucky brave silent falcon golden right just look for those and hit them up and to me that would definitely be like the the king's guard so to speak who the real hitters that protect their lord or king right so you can't go wrong with any of these guys here definitely want the horseman attribute which i think is uh very important in this game i have found out roguery that's one of the skills that you know you might want to pick up on maybe your roguery is low so you pick up you know the rogues and it effectively boosts that same skill that's the thing about companions that you got to remember whatever you're lacking in the skill that's a companion that you want to pick up right you track and so then you have basically the roguery and the traders again looking for the surname not really the first name right and before we get on with the tutorial here here are some of the best hitters that i found as far as overall not by their culture right it just depends on what you want to do again keep in mind though when you go for your companions just remember like i'm playing through as really a britannia ally right i'm freaking welsh and celtic so my blacksmith ranger is obviously from the forest of britannia however uh if they're at war say with the empire then hence you really wouldn't want to pick an empire companion you tracking all that makes sense right makes perfect sense right why would you pick a companion that you know more than likely you will be at war with that culture huh? so keep that in mind as well and let's go ahead and track first thing you gotta do is kick out this being stripped of everything 
Get out of the clan, son. I'd pick them up. Kind of want to let them go now. Like, I saw her in a tournament, but her horsing skill is only 20. So what I'm trying to do here is replace those two, right? With knights, so to speak. And then what I want to do... I mean, obviously we need a healer. And then, obviously, um, this is my, my smith who helps me out with smithing, right? Because he's already a 157. And in medicine, she's one of the best. So we'll go 18. Plus they're both, uh, I believe they're both Britannian. So that helps us out. And like I said, I picked her up, but I'm going to go ahead and kick her. Now, I don't know if you kick them, if they automatically take the gear, right? Because that's, it's a lot of gear. It's high, that's high end gear. So what we'll do real quick is just, uh, all this is high end. I mean, look at that. 64, 44. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> there we go. Now maybe we should just keep her like that and keep her in the party. <laughs> Alright, later. Later, B. But she was a good warrior, but a foot warrior. And we're looking for a horseman right now. A horseman warrior. So we'll get her. And yes, so we can get two more uh, for our, our cab charge type of situations. So really, again, we want to look under, like, the last name. The first names could vary, but Golden, Falcon, Silent, Brave, Lucky. You know, all these guys are considered knights, I would I would guess, like, you know, warriors. But again, we want somebody that's like this, uh, Penis the Brave. That's who we want, right? Um, that's what she, but look at that, 110 and 100, man. He'll be great to help out in that aspect. And then again, this guy's even better. So the Silent, Falcon... So with that being said, we'll go ahead and go into our encyclopedia home. Uh, what is it? Heroes. And then we'll just hit Wanderers and see see what we can do. Oh, we just got rid of him, actually. Again, a uh, scout right now also would be like really big time, actually. Golden or Falcon. Silent, brave, lucky. I am the swordsman. Yeah, but I need to see some horse skills, uh, quite frankly. 102.91, that's really good. He's a Kuzat, which I guess would be okay, but we're going to go ahead and add him to the bookmarks. I kind of like these skills here. Okay, this is what we're talking about. But he's Empire dude, and I have a feeling we're going to face off with Empires. But that would be a great one, though. Damn, oh, she had horse skills, man. We grab him off. Damn, he's a good fucking archer, too. That's... Yeah, we're going to grab him. Now, the last scene today here, awesome. There, boys. So we'll go ahead and we will talk to him, and hopefully we'll be able to uh, go ahead and recruit him, right? Yeah. What's up, bad guy? I'm Amy Dranger. Tell me about yourself. I put one of the Highland clans in the Far East. That's okay, because I'm fucking rich. I got all the bleed we're ever gonna need. So now he shall be in our clan. So you hit your clan tag. Boogie on down to him. Now we'll get a good look at his skills. So we'll definitely be giving him a pristine one handed sword, some bow and arrows. That's great fucking horse. Alright, so that's outstanding then. He shall be my personal bodyguard. I shall rename you, Addy, from this day forward. Okay, so we're going to trade. Get a body. Body. Body, body. Okay, so for sure, all this is like, we got to go. It's only 11 head armor. So I'm quite sure that we got some good shit. Some good gear in here.
All right, boys, we got to get uh, one more uh, type of fighter, but that's basically how you do it. And I would like someone with a little more scout skill than we have. Maybe perhaps down the road we'll do that. This is our other companion that we decided to go with. Okay, man, let's skip all the pledges. I can lose. Man, you guys are expensive. Anyways, go see Ruble. He'll hook you up with your battle rattle. Man, these guys are really fucking small, huh? The cool is that. So they're so good on the fucking horses. Okay, so we need to go ahead and try to square him up. With the best of the best of the best. You are the best of the best! Okay, guys, like I said, uh, it, it's really just depending on what you know companions that you would like right so like i said anwin and the smith here my healer and my smith but the healer and the smith again i like the smith because he makes me money and then the healer for obvious reasons right so i want them to be with my archers right so i made sure they were under two because oh, that's you know obviously what my archers are under right and then as far as my personal bodyguard so as you can see here though like i have them riding with me because my formation is seven even though it says infantry a lot uh it's actually like cab you know that's where i put my bodyguards and such is under seven so i have them squared away at seven falcons on seven here as you can see baji's on seven as well so anyway kitten on with it that's how we tracking and that's how i like to set my companions up with the companions the way i got them set up is the guys that were the archers and really good on the horse which is my personal bodyguard i basically Footman, have me. them set up so that i can have them follow me into battle and then i have my blacksmith and my medical uh winch I actually have them Infantry. with the with the archers Forward. so they're gonna move with my archers as you see up there and then obviously infantry. do whatever we do with the, with the uh, infantry however you can see that my companions are following me right into battle so One thing I was mentioning to you guys that I really wanted uh, someone, you know, higher up with scouting class, but really that extra warrior, you know, as stated, you know, you're only allowed four companions to start. So I wanted to have really good knight type warriors, but more than that, be good on horseback and fighting, right? As you can see, that's where I got Gray Falcon and Baji Zifadilis, right? So I got them two guys for that specific reason, but I really wanted scouting because you can see that Baji's scouting is only one tick. My Smithen, now nah, he's just, he's a beast. I look at that 204 already. And then the healer, what I did is I just started working on her scouting attributes, right? So as soon as, you know, the game progresses, we'll start being able to actually include these with her. But at least now, we actually have her on five and then you know as far as the skill points go we can go ahead and with her obviously medicine because she is a medic uh class right so she's 81 to start and we'll just go ahead and rate her up there and on scouting that's more specifically what we're really uh what we're really tracking here i wish the medicine and the scouting were in the same but they're not so it is what it is and then once we get some attribute points we'll go ahead and start uh ranking up her scouting right or we can actually open another companion slot right now i'm real close to becoming tier two you know certain other things will happen but again with my blacksmith method if you haven't seen that the blacksmith ranger that's basically who this is right we've already got 353k uh well on our way to half a million golden blooms right and again you saw that i got rid of a few uh of the melee fighters and switched out to my friends here uh baji the haji and Ulram, the gray falcon so that's it even though they are kuzats mongoloids uh that's uh that's his little uh nickname for us and then obviously as stated i have my smith who is just uh he's just badass as far as uh you know helping me earn that cheddar and then our medic here again remembering though 
that these two, you could basically do whatever you want with these two slots. Again, I had two melees in there, but I was like, what the fuck? You know, I don't want to leave them. I want them as my personal attache, so to speak. So, tracking on with that, I hope you learned a little in today's video tutorial. Don't forget, go ahead, snipe, like, snipe, sub. I'll catch you guys next, bitch. IRL got me on the ropes. However, wanted to push out a little bit of content. Have an amazing day today. I hope tomorrow's amazing. I hope yesterday was amazing for you. Like I said, man, you guys mean a lot to me. Thanks for sticking with me. Because that's how we roll. I'm trying to keep more of an eye on them, right? So that's what I like to do. And then I'll just uh, use the old sandwich uh, tactical. Soldier, follow me!